Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be making some flowers, paper flowers. All the bells and whistles are going off now because you know I am trying to get my flower making game up. So what are we going to be using? We're going to be using some simple, simple supplies. And I'm really making this video because I have who I consider a good friend. Um, even though we don't communicate a lot, we don't talk much, we don't do anything. But I consider her a good friend because she's just so personable when she creates her videos. And I'm like, oh, I can, I want to go over your house and play with your stamp set. Like, let's play. Let's die cut some stuff out. So she's been thinking, she's been contemplating making a large purchase of flower making equipment. And I think that I'm going to make, I want to make this video for you. So you know that you don't really need a lot of flower making equipment. You just need a little bit to do amazing stuff so what we have on hand hot glue gun we have um some paper we have some buttons just because i haven't played with buttons in a while and then we have this which i think is all you really need we need a foam mat you don't need a foam mat i'm going to show you a different way and i have this sculpty style and detail it's a three-piece set and this is what it shows all right, and even though it's three pieces, you see six different measurements because this thing comes apart in case you are trying to sculpt some clay. I'm not. I um, do have some clay stuff that I want to play around with, but at the moment, I'm not trying to sculpt any clay. I also have some ink right here, and I have some bling, well, pearls, some flat back pearl type thing, and we have this. Now, all you need if you have a paper punch a die, a machine that cuts out for you, flowers, all you need is that, okay? Um, I'm going to show you two methods of curling your stuff that I have practiced. Um, I'm not a professional flower maker. I really want to get more proficient in it, but I am not there yet. So I'm just inking up the edges because who doesn't love an inked up edge, right? Besides Brandy. I'm getting more into it, I can tell you that, because it just makes your product, your project, not product, your projects have a more finished edge, okay? So that's one, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I made already. We made this one, all right? And I made this one right here. That's a button, yay for buttons. All right, so... I'm going to show you two methods. I'm going to show you the method that I use to make this one. And then I'll show you the method that I use to make this one. And this little um, adhesive piece that came came from Joanne Fabric is not sticking. So we're going to just try to use some glue, hot glue. You have to be careful. You know, I have some tweezers, right? Why don't I get them out and use them, right? Weirdo. Um, and you don't, even if you need some tweezers, they have them at the Dollar Tree, like a five pack tweezer set. I think it's like for some auto parts or whatever. It's in the automotive section. I can't believe Dollar Tree has like an automotive section. Wow. Anyway, so the first, I'm going to show you how I did this one first and then I'll show you the button technique. The same thing, but I'll show you. So with this one, all you need is to put it right in the middle. And if the camera moves, excuse the camera movement. All right? And you just go as much or as little as you want to create your cupping. You can use your hand because you may not have a foam mat, but you have your hand. Or you have someone else's hand. Um, so here you are. And the more you roll it around, the more curve it gets. All right? And... You can be aggressive or not so aggressive. It doesn't really matter. And that piece of paper is tore, so we're going to put that under. We don't want that showing. Okay. So I'm just rolling this around, all around. I'm just letting it do whatever it wants to do. Um, just like that, right? And now you have these. Even if you want to stop there, you could and just put that there and curl the edges or whatever so now all I'm doing is taking these two and folding them over now this is a retro flower so the petals will not all the petals are not the same size they're not all the same shape they have a little bit of funkiness to them because it's retro right 
it's funny how we think about things nowadays. Retro, when retro was in, wasn't retro. That was just like the happening thing, right? <laughs> and now we call it retro. All those beads and dashikis and make love, not war and all that. The hippie stage, I guess. Um, shag carpet. See, this one is off. This petal's a little off. So if you have a cut out that has a crooked petal you can even draw your own petals if you like your own flower it doesn't have to be perfect not one single real flower is perfect not one single person even though we may think we are is perfect so god would not make us like that to live up to something like that right um all right so now what we're going to do and what I did with this one is I connected them kind of on this, the first one on top, but slightly off. And then I'll show you how and why I did that. And it doesn't matter which one you pick up because they're all going to be attached. And so we're just going to apply, apply, apply. I wouldn't mind pie. I'm always talking about food, huh? Apply a little bit or a lot in that case, a lot. You want to apply a dab of glue. And, you know, I don't really care for my glue gun. And it doesn't really care for me. But it is a needed piece of equipment in crafting. And be careful with your foam. I want this foam to last. It was $5. So, I do want it to last off one use. This is my first use of this. And then I'm just going to apply this on the back. Right there. I have a new round of glue in the chamber and it's being problematic for me and then we're going to put that there and now I'm just going to apply some pressure because I do want this to stick and stay you can use wet glue if you like no big deal and now I'm just going to unfold these just a little to not make them look like they're so papery right just a small amount and there you have it okay and now we're going to find a cute awesome jewel over here that will fit and we'll use this big round one these came from joanne as you can tell they're all kind of jacked up so you may want to apply some glue on there as well and if you have tweezers use tweezers for this so this is the one method that i showed that i've been practicing around with and this is another method that I actually don't uh, mind using. My phone just cut off. So, um, <laughs> it said it was overheating. I've been having problems with this phone ever since they have a new phone out. And I'm not sure if it's psychological or if it's um, something in the water. But I have definitely been like, I need a new phone, I need a new phone. But what I'm going to do... Is just get a replacement phone, not a new phone. Because I don't need a new phone. This phone still works, no problem. So I am just folding these over. Just like this. And now what I'm going to do is round them. And I actually like this, like I said, I like this method a lot better than um, the other method. They're both the same. But I just feel like I can actually see the shape of the flower coming through once I've already, you know, I've already shaped it and then I'm just rolling it around. I think that is, um, for me, because I like to see my projects, like, take shape really, really fast. Maybe that's why I like simple, easy things to create with. And in that instant, once I do that, I can definitely see how it's going to look. Now, the one thing I notice a lot of people do, they put their glue right in there. I, I don't have that best control of glue, uh, hot glue application. So I just like to put it on this side. For me, it's easier. And then I put it inside of the flower and I press down. You have a little bit of time, a little bit of wiggle room, just a little bit in that side. You got to be careful with your mat. Um, you could definitely can use the Dollar Tree um, foam, but I just think that it doesn't, it's not as good of quality. It's not thick, as thick as this. They're probably the same exact maker and everything. 
and it's just all in my head. And then the next one, I do it the exact same way. And I only use three flowers. I know some people use a lot more. I know some people spray theirs and wet them, but this is just really quick and easy. Um, my glue gun was over there chirping. Um, like the birds outside. I'm not sure what's going on with that glue gun. And then I would try and put another button in here for you. But I'm going to just do um, a circle flat back pearl. Again, be careful with your glue application. Be very careful. If you have tweezers use them i don't know i have some tweezers but i don't want to mess with them i'm being extra careful um you know like our kids tell us or you told your parents when you grown up i was extra careful not to drop the glass that you told me not to drop and then i dropped it so this is that one that we just created and this is the other one you can't even tell the difference can you i just like how they look um i made a few while my phone was cooling off And of course you can do whatever you want, to, you know, but this is just an easy and I feel like it's just a little bit less expensive than um, the original intended plan. So I want to say thank you all for watching. Link some um, flower making videos in the in the link in your comments or tell me where I can go to get better at this because I definitely do want to do some flower making make sure it's not super complicated you know like cut the petal out wrap it around your finger five times glue it on here unglue it and all that stuff you know something simple um and not so confusing i like easy steps thank you all for watching happy crafting